In honor of the Conrad Weiser Science Research Institute's fifth year anniversary, the program opened its registration up to students outside of Conrad Weiser Area School District. This is symbolic of the program's growth. In its fifth year, the program expanded from 12 Conrad Weiser students and one staff member to 35 staff members and 110 students across 12 different school districts. These changes would not be possible without the support of our generous donors, the Ceramic and Glass Industry Foundation, the Berks County Community Foundation, Ted and Kim Day, Friends of Tower Health, Arrow International Scholarship Fund, Holly and Myrtle Queer Fund, Northeast Agricultural Education Foundation, and Albright College. Thank you. 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 Thank you for helping make this opportunity available for our students. Your donations have helped students explore research in areas of material, computer, biomedical, genetic, agricultural, animal, and environmental sciences. But most importantly, your donations have given students an opportunity to explore their passions in a program that will help their ideas prosper. This summer at SRI, we opened the program up to students from outside of the Conrad Weiser School District, and we have 110 students enrolled this summer, which is a large increase from last year. We've increased our teachers at SRI to 19 and increased our college internships to 15 students. One of the other new components that we have this year is uh, we've incorporated a lot of other fields other than just science. So uh, we have art teachers, we have uh, family and consumer science teachers, uh, TV production, there's a lot of moving parts this year, so lots of new things for students to get involved with. Students should be encouraged to join SRI because it is an informal type of STEM uh, educational experience. And what the, the current research shows is that when students are involved in informal STEM experiences, that they are more motivated and they're twice as likely to enter the STEM pipeline, increasing our workforce demand. The project last year was the effects of bias of glass and interferon gamma. And what it did, I made a cells and I used bias of glass to see if I can keep them alive during the process. And right now I'm using trypsin to damage them and see if I can bring them back alive with using the bias of glass. The whole purpose for this project is to see if I can heal horse skin wounds using bias of glass. What I've gained so far is so much knowledge and I've learned a passion in microbiology and it's helped me for the future. So this year we made a really strong effort to uh, listen to comments and suggestions from previous years. And what we found is that the, the research methodology that we're teaching students can really be applied to anything that they're interested in. So uh, whether that's art or music or the social sciences, engineering, computers, um, you name it, we're trying to help students. So we're really making an effort to uh, provide opportunity for students that aren't interested in science uh, but still want to get involved in doing independent research. The project is to uh, try to make a pesticide out of plants to kill spotted lanternflies. So currently I am working with Francesca who is making an insecticide and it's very cool to watch her grow and as a sophomore in college I wish I had these opportunities to have these type of lab equipments and these types of people to help inform me in science so the fact that I get to help her and nurture her in her science fields is really nice and to watch her go from being clueless to someone who now knows more than I could ever know um, is really amazing and I'm very proud of her. So 
so our donors and contributors really make this happen and they allow SRI to operate. There are no financial barriers for students to participate in SRI. Any student that is classified as a free or reduced lunch student can participate for free. My project is basically the, the dissection of fruit fly brains and of using that information to see how it compares to human brains so I can learn more about the human brains in the process. So basically I heard of SRI through my gifted support teacher and he basically just showed me the, the pamphlet of the program and it sounded like a pretty interesting program so here I am. I would definitely recommend SRI to other students as it allows you to like explore what you really enjoy and you can choose if you prefer to be more in seminars or more in the lab or if you want a mix of both and it's basically all up to you, the learning process. So from SRI I've gained a lot of knowledge and expertise as for example I've never dissected fruit fly brains before and now I'm starting to do that. I would like to thank all of our contributors and donors. We couldn't run the program without you and you are absolutely changing the lives of these students. Thank you. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's been involved in this program, from the students and parents that, uh, that are trusting us to, to help them with their education, to the interns and the instructors that are helping us uh, administer the program to uh, the guest speakers, the experts that are coming in and sharing um, their passions with our students, uh, and then especially our donors. Uh, again, we just couldn't do this program without you, and uh, we're so happy uh, for your support. Thank you. 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 Thank you to all the donors that made this year's SRI possible.